The first presidential election since Roe versus Wade was overturned and returned the decision to the states. Iowa is one of several that enacted new abortion bans. And KCRG TV9 state capitol reporter Connor Hendricks looks at how Democrats are hoping to make abortion a focus for campaigns this November. Two congressional races in Iowa could be among the most competitive in the country. In particular, Central Iowa's 3rd Congressional District is being targeted by both conservative and progressive fundraising groups. Here's how incumbent Republican Congressman Zach Nunn and Democratic challenger Lanon Bacom are going after each other on abortion. Women no longer have the right to make their own personal health care decisions. On a press call last week, Bacom said Nunn supported Iowa's 2023 abortion law, which is now in effect. Make no mistake, this is Zach Nunn's abortion ban here. He supported it when he was at the state Senate, and he won't stop there. Zach Nunn was not in the state legislature in 2023. He did, however, support a similar abortion law when he was in the Iowa House in 2018. Bacom also claims Nunn supports a national abortion ban. I think folks have already said it. This is just the start. More is to come. And Zach Nunn will try to pass a national abortion ban if given the chance, with no exceptions, even in the case of rape, incest, and the life of the woman. In a Republican primary debate hosted by WHO 13 in 2022, Nunn raised his hand in favor of a national abortion ban. In your mind, uh, should all abortions be illegal in this country? Hand up if you say yes. All abortions. Just to be clear. All, abor all abortions, no exceptions should be illegal. So you all think there should be no exceptions. But minutes later in the debate, none clarified his position. Is there a role for Congress here or not? I, under the 10th Amendment, this should be back to the states, okay. exactly where it's designated. Okay. Mudslinging aside, where do each of the candidates actually stand on abortion? Bacom says he opposes a national abortion ban and wants Congress to restore Roe versus Wade provisions, which essentially legalized abortion in the first two trimesters of pregnancy. Nunn says he opposes a national abortion ban too and wants states to be able to set their own abortion policy. According to a Des Moines Register poll, 61% of Iowans say that abortion should be legal in all or most cases, while 35% say it should be illegal in all or most cases. At the Iowa Capitol Bureau, I'm Connor Hendricks reporting.